Okay, I'm going to walk you through the setting up of your power school when you're entering in a new assignment, looking at it from a standards point of view. And first I want to thank Joseph for letting me use his uh, power school login to, to do so, so thank you. All right, we'll start off, we're in our main screen, 2013-14 year, and I'm about to enter in my first assignment. So I click on the plus button like before, and up comes a new screen. Now for now, I'm just going to give this a fictitious name. Test assignment. Test assignment, yeah, we'll just leave it that way. I do need to specify a category, otherwise it won't let me save it. But it doesn't matter which category I list it in. Because we're not using the percentage side of the gradebook, it won't matter what I use here in terms of calculating their standard scores. So for now, I'm just going to click on assessment. Okay, there it is, assessment. I don't need to include points. I don't need to change possible points or anything like that. I can add a description here if I would like of you know, whatever you want it to be. And then I save it. Okay, so let's go take a look at this assessment I've added in. I'm going to shrink this screen. Okay, now I've got my list of students here. There they are. So now I'm at my assignment. You'll notice on this screen I am able to enter in a number score, but I'm not going to because, again, our emphasis is on the standards. I come here, and lo and behold, it's telling me I didn't install my standards yet. Okay. So when you enter in your information here, your name, your category, description, your next step is to come to this tab here that says Standards and click on it. Now listed here will be all the standards that you've entered in or given to YN to put in for your grade. Language Arts has quite a few. You'll notice that some are grayed out. The top one here that says Language Arts 6 is the name of the course. The level below that is the first strand for Language Arts, reading literature. Below that are all of these that are in black. These are the 10 standards that roll up into that strand. So let's assume for our purposes, this is the one we were hitting, this particular strand. It was a reading activity and he's focused on these first three standards. Support with inferences, themes and summarized details, analyzing elements. I mean, it's a lot, but just for, for our purposes, we'll assume that's what we were doing. Now I click Save. Shrink. And now we see a little tab here for the standards. Open up, and there we are. Now for each student, we need to go in and add in a score. For now, these scores are going to be a 4, 3, 2, or 1. We will change them on the back end, so when parents and students log in, they won't see a 4, they'll see an ADV for advanced. Or they won't see a 3, they'll see a PRO for proficient. And for playing around, we'll put a 1 down here. Okay, for limited proficiency in this case. Now I'm going to click on Save. Okay, storing the scores. Now that they've been entered in, let's take a look at what that looks like on the student view. Okay, now on this screen, here's our student here, the first one listed down. There's our assignment, test assignment. And what you'll notice over here, three scores we entered in, the four, three, and the one, and the standards. I want you to pay attention to some of these that have a gear in them. This means a calculation is being made. In this particular case, all the standards that fall below this strand here, reading literature, are calculated together to give us this score down here, the 3. So the 4 and the 3 and the 1, they get put in together into a calculation that comes up to a 3. We're going to talk a, a little bit more about that afterwards as to how we get to that score. This score here is what will eventually populate the student screen, the parent portal site. Okay, so when they look at the strand for reading literature, this is what they'll see. I'm going to pause right here because I have a second podcast that I would like to show you that, that will walk you through what it looks like from the parent side. All right.